folks, DG here. Today, I decided to try something new. One moment. Okay. I decided today I'm going to try doing a comparison between what you may ask, Power Ranger Time Force, and Super Sentai Counterpart, but, but I'm uh, trying to remember what called. Miro Sentai. Uh, no, wait, that's. Let's try to remember what. Miro Sentai! Time Ranger! Okay, I am a fan of Power Rangers and its Japanese roots and origins. Origins, and for that, I have both complete series right here, I say, why well, do a comparison? So, in between these groups. Groups. In case you don't know, Power Rangers actually uses footage and. Costumes and such from this Japanese show called Super Sentai, which they have made a tie, and they do that for each and every season because it's cheap. And yeah, so the equivalent for so Time Ranger basically is what they use for Time Force. Well, the one so the first major difference is that the is that well this has 51 episodes, this has 11 episodes less. Clocking at 40. With some episodes not being used or episodes being spliced in with other storylines and episodes. Anyway, I'll be to get to the plot of them. Plot of Time Ranger, read from the back of the case. In the 30th century, time travel is illegal to help monitor and police time, the police crimes involving time. The TPB, the Time Protection Bureau, has found it. But when the evil Don Dem Nero and his nefarious gang managed to trick four TPD cadets to light in the trail of the 20th century, the four cadets go back in time to try and stop him. And at the same time, they meet a young martial artist who they, they allow to become their Time Red or the Red Ranger, so they have to try and stop Don Del Nero. For Time Force, for a time of power, uh, in the distant future, a time of power, Team Power Ranger is known as the Power Rangers Time Force acts as a time traveling pilot, but traveling police force, capturing and freezing criminal mutants. With a notorious criminal mastermind, Ranzik, stayed, played by Vernon Wells, stages a daring escape. He fe he kills the Red Time Force Ranger Alex and Alex Drake and takes the entire cryogenic prison full of dangerous incur incarcerated mutants back in time with them to the year 2001, my birth date. Dairy Six to unleash a new wave of crime against our mother world. How does this superior technology preserve Ranger? The Pink Ranger, Jen Scott, who is Alex Drake's fiance, leads a new Rangers and mod to take to take out the criminals. In modern times, they ally themselves with Alex's ancestor West, who they share his DNA with, and becomes the tired Time Force Ranger. So there's the plots. The plots. Um, I don't mem memorize the cast for first because they're all in Japanese and they have. Names is hard for me to pronounce. We hear the cast here include um, uh, Jason Font as West Red Time Force, Force uh, Kevin Kleinberg as Trip Green Time Force, Michael Copon, who I did meet at a convention, did a convention in a panel as the Blue Ranger, Deborah Stell Phillips as Katie the Yellow Ranger, or this one's name is Lucas, and finally Jen the Pink Ranger, played by Erica Hill, who you might know from Hallmark. So, story-wise, I would say they're both equal in terms of story. Well, one major difference is that the Time Ra Yellow here is actually a dude in the in, in Time Ranger, while in Time Forest, it's a chick. I don't know why, because this is before everything went woke, however. Er, and the... And these rangers' names are uh, Yat was y y Yato, I believe is his name. Let's check the pick. No, Tetsuya. Tetsuya is time red. Yuri is time pink. Domon is time yellow. I kind of forgot time blue and time green's name. Uh, give me a minute. I'm gonna to look it up. Ah, 
Ayasi and Sion. And okay, but here I'll start with there's a twin uh, between the two. For between the two count parts. Starting with um Wes here. He, you know, he, I'm on no to see that. Um Wes is doing the top to because in time force Um where's my case? He starts off as this rich kid who has daddy issues who at first doesn't take things seriously. After he meets the Time Force Rangers, he starts taking things seriously and he wants to join with them. I haven't exactly watched much of the first few episodes of Time Ranger, which I probably should have done this video, I apologize. But I assume it's the same story. The uh, other... Just here. Both Yuri and... Time Pink and Time Pink here, or Jen, have two different reasons why they want to go to the villains. She wants to go after the villains because they murdered her family. She wants to go to the villains because they murdered her fiance. And. Say, yeah. And to the character, I'd say, say I kind of like Jen a little better than you because. Well, Yuri is a oh wait, character. She doesn't show as much emotion as Jen does, like because Jen's kind of like the, like the drill sergeant hothead of the team who wants, who's hell bent on bringing the villain Ranzik, this dude here in. I'll get to the villains in a sec. Well, Yuri is a lot more calm. She's a lot more calm and reserved, but I wouldn't say she's as interesting. Regarding to Tatsuwa and Wes in terms of characters, I say they're kind of equal. Uh, with Domon Time Yellow, him here, and uh, K Time uh, Time Force Yellow, I, I say I like Domon better because if because yeah, Domon's personality is that he's kind of a upbeat womanizer type of character, but who also likes to mask his own insecurities. These with other stuff. He, I, I think I like him a little better because I just feel like they give him more to do. Like, the kid of Katie here, it's not that she's bad. I mean, she is a bubbly, affectionate character, but she just doesn't, doesn't give him much, that much to do, is my me issue. But there was one good episode of the show featuring these characters. Both of them were. Both of them are. Where Domon slash Katie are worried about time affecting their future lives. I actually watched both of those back to back, and I will say, both the acting of the two of them are pretty good, and I will say I'll give them equal points. Um, uh, tr regarding Trip and Scion, again, I'll kind of have to give Time Force the gold, the metal heat there, because, uh, as in Time Force, I felt like Trip got more characters than Scion. Scion so got a little bit of character, but not as much as Trip did. And I felt they handled the episode. Um, uh, what was the episode's name? Trick takes the stand a little better than th this, but just as, that's just in my opinion. In um, uh, who am I? Yeah. Okay, with this, I kind of like the Super Saiyan Cow part better. Luke gets his get her. I yes, uh, say. Be because again, because in that one they actually give him a little bit of an arc where he's suffering through this disease called the Osiris Syndrome. He just tries to keep it from his teammates so they won't worry. And it kind of gives a little more of depth and dimension if, if he's going to live or not. I find that be a little more interesting. I mean, with Lucas Kendall here, it's not that he's not interesting, it's just that he's not given much to do. See, with Katie. I mean, his overall character is that he's, uh... Is that he's kind of, uh... Cause they, uh, he's kind of thinks he's hot stuff, like he can get all the women, he loves his hair. But he also get, does take his job seriously and sometimes has a no-nonsense type of way of working. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so, regards to the main rangers here, I give equal points to to Red Rangers. I give Time Force the points for, uh, for, for Pink and Green, and I give... T uh, t time Ranger, the points for blue and y blue and yellow, and I'll move on to the villains. 
In Time Ranger, it's Time Ranger has three layer four villains. Don Del Nero, who's a fat, blue-ish mutant crime lord similar to the Godfather, Marlon Brando. I'm trying to do the government, I just can't remember it. But, yeah, he's... Yeah, he's kind of... Uh, he's a crime boss, but he has a honorable personality to him. He's Brando's godfather. And basically, he just goes to time to just do, well, crime lord stuff. Smoke cigars, steal from places, rob from places, commit, um, uh, racketeering and stuff. He does basically the usual crime lord stuff. Uh, the secondary villain boat is... And in mean, terms, but for Time Force, I have to give a credit for the main villain show, Ranzik, played by Vernon Wells, who's one of the few Power Rangers who have actually been in a lot of other things aside from Power Rangers. Vernon Wells has been in, has been in Mad Max and was also in Weird Science. Yeah, Earth by the main villain, Ranzik, who's a mutant who, tend who hates, who's part of a mutant who hates humanity because he feels they mistreated him. Him. So, um, and he has a do and his country of his daughter Nadira, played by Kay Sheldon, this gold robot called Frax, and Donio's Calibre, which is just this short blue dope called Gluto, which is Donio's counterpart, who they just who doesn't do anything in the show besides sim for Nadira and walk around the base. That's all he does. So they basically made him pointless. Is. But anyway, in terms of which I prefer between Del Nero and Ranzik, I kind of pick Ranzik because, again, they gave him more of a three-dimensional personality, and, and he has more of a reason why he's evil, and he has better stakes and goals and more of a character arc, unlike Del Nero, who's just a crime lord with an honorable heart to him. Yeah, and, okay, now, the next secondary villain. The next secondary villain in the... So you have to give Time Force the points there. Next secondary vi villain of the show oh, is called Gien and Time Ranger and Frax and Time Force. Gien and Time Ranger is there was this kid who befriended the Del N Nero when he was hiding and helped hide him and even refused to tell these kids that Del, well, Del Nero was these crime guys where Del Nero was to try and protect him, which of course cost him his life because they blew him, because they shot him up. So Del Nero saved him by turning into a robot. But because Gian's not his robot, he starts to become more of a psychopath each day and starts releasing monsters onto the city that Del Nero doesn't approve of. So the poor Del Nero even feels he has to put him down because he's gone too psychotic. Frax, on the other hand, it's kind of more dimension because. It's revealed that he actually used to be a nice scientist named named Dr. Ferrix, Louis Ferrix, who found Ranzik after he got bitten by this vampire monster and healed him back to health. And he even told him, like, hey, everybody's like, why would you help me? I'm a mutant. He's like, dude, I don't care. Dude, human, robot, whatever. I don't care what you are. I'm kind to everyone. And you think the Ranzik would be nice about it, but no, instead the guy is a complete a-hole. He kills him and steals his, his, um, what was it? Steals his, um, uh, vaccine serum and his robots and leaves him for dead. So then he forces business Frack somehow gets in good with him without him knowing his identity. And then proceeds to slowly try to, to take him down as payback which I kind of say I can't blame him because the guy was genuinely nice to him. Instead, he screws him over for no good reason and just because he's a human because he likes robots? Like, what a prick? But still, I would say Time Range is a little better. I would say kind of a little better, although one of these right has they kind of redeem him, but kind of don't, which I don't. So, I'll give them both. Both half a point, both Time Force and Time Ranger. Anyway, now for for what was the one chick's name? I want Time Ranger. Ah, 
Uh, the chick's name is... Leela. So Nero has this mistress named Leela who helps steal for him um, and is usually seen doing stuff like watching movies or romanticizing him and stuff. She really ever fights the Time Rangers. Well, in Time Force, Yuri's Campbell is called Nadira, who is Ranger's daughter, and she's kind of like the stereotypical evil, spoiled brat daughter, you know, who whines and bitches, and she also spends a lot of time stealing expensive stuff and like, drawing stuff from stores. Us and she does have a character where she does redeem herself, but honestly, I kind of choose um, her counterpart here better because sometimes Nadira's over the top. Uh, uh, Kay Sheldon's over the top performance as Nadira kind of gets my nerves sometimes, while her actress in here is a lot more subdued and easier for me to watch. So I have to give Time Ranger the point here. And you are what I told you I thought of Del Nero and Gluto, so I can cross that off. Shh, shh. And now for the final Time Ranger I've got to mention yet. Nayoto, aka Time Fire. Time, time Fire! And then he played this... This music for him, which I kind of like. I'll explain it, but yeah. And his camp part here is... He's not pictured on the case as Eric Myers, who's... Who used to be... It, and both versions are basic, and and Eric and Nayoto are basically almost the same character. They both used to be friends of the Red Ranger. Well, not friends of them, but they more like went to school with them. They both were resentful of them for being rich. They both joined this city guardians thing set by their old men. They both wanted the quantum slash time fire powers so they can become rangers and gain power, but were to fight good but their own way. And uh, both are secondary Red Rangers. Aside from Time Ranger killing off Nayoto in the last few episodes, I th think these are th both their characters are basically equal. So, to be honest, no bar there. They're both equal in terms of character development and acting. So, let's game over there. There. Okay, I say I'm gonna do uh, two parts. This part is character. This part is story and character. Next one's going to be supporting ca supporting cast. Yes, yes. First step, supporting cast, storylines, lines, fight scenes, acting, and final fights. Let's see for the next one.